So again, so I'm John Weiss, and uh, this is George. 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 I'm Elizabeth Mitchell. John O'Connell. And Mark Taylor. So now that she's put you on the top of the uh, agenda, um, I'm not sure what, how much John. You just went through an explanation. I I didn't get too far. I gave him a very thumbnail. It, well, so make believe I'll, I didn't say I'll, anything. I'll say what I can say, and then Martha, you'll have to give me the other information. But so we have um, five elected members. There are four of us here tonight. There's one member who's not able to be here. Um, we have an associate member for a number of reasons, one of which, and most importantly, is for um, when we need to have uh, site plan approval or, or special, 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 special permits. Special, special permits. Special permits. Um, we need to have a supermajority. And so if someone is ill or someone can't be here, the associate member uh, gets to vote. But normally the associate member doesn't vote. However, we've had well, since I've been here, we've had three associate members. Is that right? Three. And George, Richard, and, and uh, Arthur. Arthur. Right? So we've had two associate members who were very proactive and got very much involved in our weekly uh, or daily uh, activities. George, when he was associate member, actually wrote our marijuana bylaw. A little while. With a little help, but I mean, they did a significant amount of drafting of it. And Richard, when he was an associate member, did an awful lot of work on solar issues, etc. So it all depends on what an associate member would like to do. Um, uh, we do anticipate also, not only do we need an associate member, but this member who's not here tonight has got his house on the market, so he may not be a member too long, depending on how long he's, he's not moving into. Newbury, he's moving out of the town. So there's the possibility we could have a full membership available as well as an associate membership. Which would be appointed, right? Yes, yes what so happens it, is... Until the next election, which is in... Although yeah. we, we are elected, for example, I filled a position uh, that was held by a, um, a former chairman of the, of the planning board, and then he ran for selectman, and the selectman appointed me to fill his term. No, not to, to, to fill a, a once, nine months of his term, which was until the next, until the next, next election. election. And then that uh, next election, I had to run. To and fill out the rest to fill, of his term. To fill out the next of his term. The terms are normally five years, but for example, when I ran, it was only for three because it was filling Dave Mountain's position. Is that what you did? Yes. Yeah, David so, stepped down. I got appointed for right. this. David Powell, who <coughs> lived on Orchards, you know, I don't know if you knew him or not, but what was his address on Orchard? Uh, I think it was 48, maybe. Yeah, how was he was down the street there? from yeah. Pete. So, quite a bit. Um, so he he uh, he left the board about a year ago. Is that right? Yes. July, yes. yeah, July 15th right? last year. How about that? Yeah. Um, so, and more background than that. Um, no, that's basically it. So under Mass General Law, the primary responsibility is for uh, special permits. The supermajority is four out of five. Um, so it's, it's kind of critical um, to have this, this, at least five members. Um, so what that means is you've got the alternate has to sit through all of the public hearings so that he hasn't missed anything. Right. Because if you've missed something, then it can be challenged by law, you know. And we have a, a couple of issues, well, one in particular, which is coming up if you followed it in the Byfield, is the solar array on Main Street. And formerly, that was, uh, the planning board had originally had the responsibility for um, small and medium-sized arrays, up to two acres, and the board of selectmen had the responsibility for everything over two acres. At town meeting this year, that responsibility was given to the planning board. So, Borrego Solar, which already has one project which has been approved for Middle Road, right near the JRM plant, or right behind it, it. yeah, right behind it, uh, is the same proponent for the property on Main Street. It's, it's very controversial uh, from the point of view that there's significant um, uh, concern. Uh, from the residents on Courtney Drive, Courtney Drive, yes. um, and uh, a number of other issues that we have, 
formerly as as a board expressed uh, f formerly, formerly, and formally um, concerns that we had, and so now it's before us, and that was just submitted at our last meeting, and so we will need to deliberate on that. We will that'll be a is it coming at our next meeting? Fifteenth. The fifteenth. We open a public hearing. The fifteenth. That will public hearing will be open. So with that, um, maybe each of you, Jim, since your note was sent first, if you could just give us a, a summary of your background and interest, and then we'll ask some questions if we need to. Well, I'm, uh, I'm an engineer by training, and spent my career in technical management, and manufacturing, and product development, that sort of thing, Rocker and Gamble, and my pharmaceutical. And as I said in my summary, we moved around a lot, but when I had a chance, Landed in one place long enough and <clears throat> gravitated toward um, zoning boards, uh, planning boards, and that sort of thing in large communities like Park Ridge, Illinois, which is about 40,000 people, to North Norwich, which was about 8,000 people. And uh, even in my, we've been here eight years, and here I've been involved in the Custom House Museum and in the Congregational Church. And there again, I gravitated towards tangible, mechanical projects. And that's how John and I got together. Uh, he did some work for us on civil engineering analyses. So I just uh, enjoy working on projects and uh, planning tangible assets and their use. So when I saw this in the newspaper, I thought I'd uh, give it a shot. Wonderful. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for your interest. Any any questions of anybody? No, me. Okay. Peter. My background is very different. Um, I have recently retired from uh, a 25-year career as a foot surgeon. Um, I've been involved in many different organizations during my tenure, uh, but be most relevant to this organization is my role with the condominium association. I've been the president of a condominium association for a lifetime, it feels. Um, and we had to go through an arduous process of a bankruptcy of a hospital, then the property being acquired by the 10th largest developer in Eastern Massachusetts, Gutierrez Corporation, and then the uh, mer merger with the Gutierrez, Gutierrez and Simpson Corporation to put a 530, 40B development on part of this 40 acre parcel. What, what town was this? This was in Stone. In Stone. And so it was many years of litigation followed by negotiation followed by resolution where this very large um, project, which was in the center of 2,500 acres of pretty much preserved land because that's the Bell's Way. I don't know, I don't know mm -hmm. if you're sure. Uh, yeah, with those, but uh, down to about 310 units. So we felt very, you know, successful that we met the needs of the local area and what was sustainable. Another part of that property was then developed by MWRA, Mass of Water Resources, mm -hmm. where they put two 10 million gallon water tanks underground for the water supply. So my background is varied, uh, but I have served on many different organizations. Uh, with many different experiences, and so, you know, I had a little change in my life direction, my needle changed, and I like to get involved in local things. Okay. One thing I failed to mention, I'm retired too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, join the club. <laughs> this is just not fair. This, this, is a work, this is a working woman. I want you to know, this is a working woman. Well, well mine wasn't by choice, okay? <laughs> But she is the youngest member of this board. I think there is one other the only thing. young member of this board. <laughs> one other thing I should add. Concerning this solar array near us, my wife has gotten all excited about that. I am a lot more objective about it because I, I believe more in uh, solar energy. But, so she's... She's, uh, she's against it, is she? Oh, yeah, yeah very much so. Now, where do you live here? In uh, Knob Hill. Knob Hill. Oh, you're, oh, Knob so, Hill. So yeah, we're okay. not that far. That's not that close. No, close enough for her to get <laughs> Okay. <Yeah. laughs> I understand. I get it. <laughs> but you're not, you're not in the butter. <laughs> you're not in the butter. No, no, no. I actually chuckled when you said Borrego, because seven or eight years ago, I started my investigation putting solar 
residential. Mm -hmm. This is before it was really popular. And Borrego was the company it started with. Borrego then sold to Grow Solar. Grow Solar is who did the installation. Grow Solar has since sold all the residential stuff to Sun City. So here we are years and years later. And I'm looking for <laughs> you know, a residential entity that will be involved in continuous management. Mm -hmm. Because of commercial, the large pieces you know, are very, you know, they, you know, they're easy to sell. But the residential stuff, you know, they'll come, they'll plop one on your roof now, and they might charge you, they might not charge you, depending on, on what the system is. So it's an interesting marketplace for both residential and commercial. But it was, it was interesting because the Rego just dumped all of their commercial, I mean, all of their residential mm -hmm. products. I didn't realize they'd been around that long. Yeah, I didn't either. They, awesome. they started in California. Yeah, the Rego's a California-based company. Oh, they are. Yeah. Yeah. All, all they of this it was California. Yeah, California. Yeah. You can't trust those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the uh, uh, will of the board here? Do we want to take this under advisement because we have some other issues we want to discuss? Well, if we want to have them on somebody on board by the 15th, do we not need to get this to the selectmen for their next meeting? It, it would be beneficial to have them to make a recommendation so and have they, them appoint somebody. The is there 15th. any way we can ask for two? No. I'm sure. No, we, we went through that before oh, when, George, we? when George and oh, was it? Okay. Eric. Eric. Oh, Same okay. Time. Right. But we do know that we've got, you know, potentially two, two seats. We've got two slots. So whoever loses out on so this round, there's another we, shot. We, we think in, in all probability that there's going to be another shot soon. Very soon, yeah. I mean, it all depends on, Fast on, on the, the house. house. Well, it's all a function of the housing market. Uh, because Richard, um, who's not been on the board for a long time, only about six months. What's that? Six months? Yeah, Richard. About yeah, about that, roughly. <laughs> is, is moving. So, um, okay. So, let, let me just go over the logistics of this then. Um, if we make a, a recommendation tonight, we get it to the selectmen on the 14th? Yeah, we need to get it to... Well, actually, Ellen would like it as soon as possible because she's trying to set the agenda. But we should, at the latest, we should get it to her by the 8th to put on the agenda for the 14th. And then whoever is appointed would need to come in on the 15th before the meeting to get sworn in in order to actively mm -hmm. participate. Well, they could get sworn in that night. They'd need to come in. That's some... what I'm saying, on the 15th, during the day. Oh, during the day, yeah. <laughs> at least on the 15th. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, with that then, George? Peter, your last name is escaping me. Pecos. Pecos. Uh, I'll consider knowing there are two openings coming up, uh, so neither one of you should go away. I'd love to have Peter Pecos appointed as the associate member of the board, and we would make that referral to the Board of Selectmen for appointment. Okay. Anybody want to? Elaborate on that. I, I, I couldn't hear. He, a word. He's sorry. recommending okay, that John. Peter be <clears throat> our nominee. Okay. And, and that uh, I'm just asking you all if you want to elaborate on that or oh, okay. anything else. Okay. Well, to be honest, uh, I like them both. I'm happy with either one. I'm I'm naturally drawn to somebody with. Who's an, an engineer? Well, <laughs> I mean, there really ought to be somebody on this board that's in charge of getting roads built that knows how to build a road. No, that's not a lot to ask. Um, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with the majority, but I would, I would go with Jim at this point for that okay. reason. Okay. Elizabeth? I just have a quick question of Martha or anybody else. Is, has, has Richard said anything about his intentions, if you know? I'm just wondering, we're all timing this off, his move in. Has he indicated whether he might step down before the move? Well, you know, he's, he's, asked, uh, he's asked my opinion about should he. And I said he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. That he doesn't have to leave until he no he's longer ready. is a resident. So I think that's the... But every time he sends me a note, he says, is it appropriate? Do you know what I mean? So he's, mm -hmm. he's clearly... He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's clearly... He senses he, it's an awkward he, he's position. He's clearing that, that it's in, he's in an awkward position. Yeah. yeah. And, oh. and there is a concern, too, I guess, with the Borrego Special Permit coming up, it would be helpful to have a full board plus an associate and to have, you know, guaranteed. Yeah. But that's, that, and it's a procedural question that if Richard participates in the hearings, 
and then somebody then he leaves midstream. How does that work? Well, these well the alternate films. Well, then the alternate films. Yeah. And, and, and then, right. and then mm -hmm. let's so assume they yeah. both still have an interest in this, no matter what happens. That as soon as we know that he's leaving, then we make the switch and we 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 go from the alternate to the full member. Yeah. And then we bring the alternate in. Now at that point, the alternate Borrego hearings have already started, so the alternate is not a fully functioning alternate. That's right. That's right. Right. That's and that was sort but of. But it's my the point. best we is can there, do. Yeah. But just is, is this design. a possibility? And this, and this design design design. Design. Yeah. Is this a possibility that we ask the selectmen to appoint an alternate alternate, given the circumstances of the take up the board over the next few few weeks or months? Well, I tell you what. Why don't we try to do that? See if they'll you, do you it. Know, I don't know if it's like that. They can't do it. Probably yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Under mass general law, with the five, you're only allowed one. You're only allowed one. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can appoint an alternate. Well, I'm not thinking of it, appoint him as an alternate. Approve yeah, it as an alternate an should an alternate be required. Uh, In other words, if it's pre-approved. So that we don't have to. I'm, I'm grasping at straws because I think the whole thing is And I don't mean to stir the pot. I'm just trying to think. Thinking ahead, that if if we've got an issue. With when this vote comes, no. I mean, it requires maybe, all of us. Maybe we should talk to Richard to be present um, and find out for everything. Yeah. Now, the other right. alternative is to postpone the first of all, put um, Richard's feet to the fire. Yeah, and, exactly. And at the same time, maybe postpone Borrego for until the next meeting. I don't think we can postpone yeah. Borrego. No. No. But it's already but set, is it? Okay. It's set, and I think given I'm the history of it, I think... Yeah. I think really and that's what I'm nervous about, is, is that if we have a membership yeah. issue, so, say, this is a at some point, point. they've already, they've already <laughs> been bounced around. And yeah. so they're not going to react well yeah. to that. Yeah. I think if we did it before, rather than have an accident, because, let's face it, we can, any one of us can get hit by a truck. You know, and a tornado. <laughs> Even you, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I'm just, you know, I'm well, concerned. The question I is, I, th I think the idea of, put, of of having a discussion with Richard and just, you know, explaining uh, our, our situation might not be a bad idea, and, I, and I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow. Would it would it would it be possible to? This is stretching too to appoint. A full member contingent or based on his resignation. I'd have to look to you for that. No. You yeah. can't do that? No. Okay. okay. I don't think you can. So you can't do it in. If you, can't, you can't, if you do can't it appoint two associates, you just have the same problem. Appointing one associate you know that and neither one could be full it, member. Neither one is our call. It's all the selectmen, right? Or no, they, yeah. no, but I mean. For the appointment. The appointment. Yes. The appointment. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. We've on got, our, on we've our got two weeks. This is sausage being made, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got two weeks to the selectmen's meeting. Yeah. We've got a week until it has to be on their agenda, right? The eighth. Yeah. Okay. So we we could. What's today? Wednesday. We could have a first. meeting on Monday. That's the first time that we could meet and have it posted correctly. Meet again on Monday after you talk with Richard and then vote appropriately on Monday, and then that word could get to the selectmen by, it could be on the agenda by the 8th, which is Wednesday. Right, Monday might be difficult <clears throat> because only because Friday is the day that the 4th of July is being observed. So yeah. Monday, Monday so everybody's Wednesday, gonna take off. Um, well, people take off Friday or Monday. But yeah, but they can't, they can't, But just for posting purposes, yeah. since it's, it's a legal holiday, uh -huh. and you can't post, so I think the early Even though we're not open on Friday. Even though we're not yeah. open on Monday, I mean on Friday. Um, so I think the earliest we could do it would probably be Tuesday. Well that is cutting a real tight. Meeting? But no, to, uh, the following Tuesday, the 14th. Could we have it on the agenda, just to play it safe, could we have it on the agenda and then withdraw it? Sure, hmm. yes. That's so let's legal. do that. Yeah. Finally we got to do that. <laughs> let's do that. I'm probably glad to do that. First of all, we kill all the lawyers. <laughs> that idea is certainly. I, I'm sitting strong. between two attorneys here. So <laughs> you can't do that. You can't, can't do that. You can't do that. Can't do that. Well, let's 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 put it on the agenda. Okay. What? Oh, well, we have, we we have to meet first, right? Right. We have to meet because we don't have a vacancy yet. Right. So 
can everybody make a meeting next Tuesday? Yes. I can. I think so. What's the seventh? I may have to <coughs> be. If we do it, I'd have to do it first thing in the morning. Martha, because I have to. Elizabeth, could you I'd rather do it in the morning. Yes. Like eight o'clock at any time. Eight o'clock on Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> eight o'clock. Oh, true shame going on. Oh there. yeah, eight o'clock on Tuesday. Okay, let me withdraw my motion. Yeah, withdraw the motion, and we'll. You guys are not a, not in limbo. Don't go. You, you yeah, don't, don't go, go away. away. <laughs> don't get another job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We'll, we'll make this thing work. No, we'll make you both right. yeah. that can, can we ask the question that was asked when... Uh, yeah. With Richard and I? Yeah. 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 I'll do ask you want to ask it? Sure. Um, do one of you have a preference in terms of an alternate position versus a full position? If it's... I'll leave it up to you folks. Oh, we'll the board. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't care if we can get them both. I don't... I don't care which one. That's what you I'd be very happy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that's. Uh, I'd be very happy. Can we make the meeting on Tuesday at eight fifteen? Elizabeth will Whoa. kill you. That's fine. Okay. Just because I'll need to get it posted at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. You need to what? I'll need to get it posted at eight o'clock tomorrow oh. morning because uh, yes. tomorrow and yeah, Monday yeah, 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 yeah. days account. Talk about cutting it close. So eight fifteen Tuesday. Seven. As long as I get. A.M. in here, so P.M. That'd be good. Well, it really would be horribly unfair to Borrego if, <clears throat> once again, they fail to get the, the fail to be enough people on the board to to. Uh, and that's what I have been thinking. John, yeah, is really. That I, I just... think that's uh, that's scary. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. pretty clear. Sorry, sorry for all the confusion. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's the way boards work. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we don't work together. We do have laws. We do have, like we do have it, uh, nation of laws. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately. So, do you have any other questions of us? Not really. No. Um, one thing I will do if you guys are willing to, to do homework is I can provide you with um, um, copies of things like the subdivision control law and various other, you know, rules and regulations that the board needs to adhere to. There's some pretty good Basis, uh, directions are working, working directions. And uh, also copies of our zoning bylaw and things like that. And I'm happy to sit down with either or both of you to, to kind of walk you through some of it. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Okay, you're free to hang around. And and we, we have we, just yeah. a couple of others. We're talking about the master plan yes, yeah, update, just because and we're also talking about Triton. I think I missed. Uh, uh, really 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 Triton field. Sure. So you're happy to yeah, to right. hang around and ask questions or whatever. Yeah, that's, I think it'd be useful if they did. Yeah, that's right. And uh, get a little picked up a little bit of the crazy. So now that here. we're going to meet on Tuesday, uh, I would um, maybe recommend that we have a discussion about the Triton. Yes, but hold off. But hold off on the. Um, <clears throat> on the written thing and the vote on it until Tuesday. Right. I can incorporate if any changes come out okay. tonight. Okay. Have you, have you, have you had I haven't comments? read it. I yeah, exactly. Read it, but okay. I and I neither had I, I, and I was counting on George, either. but George has some questions on it. Yeah, so I since he's got questions. And, and Martha has my question. Uh, yeah. Which I'm going to pass out to And everybody. let's see then. And then we can vote on this on Tuesday. Okay. okay. And by then, I should have the, the um, so you have new updated drawings from the Yeah, so it's just missing. Yeah. Revised drawings. Oh, okay. okay. I sent them to her. Do you want copies now? No, let me have one so I can take it home with me. Mm -hmm. These are with George's comments? This is George's comments. Do you, and did I get, do you, do, who, does he, I'm sorry, I can't even talk. Does anybody need a hard copy of the yes. draft decision? Yes. I no, I've got it online. I don't. I don't have it either. Okay. I don't have it either. All right. So that's for John. The dog eater. You already made hard copies for all of us? I did. Just I'll take case. it if you already okay. made it rather than go to scratch paper. Anybody else? <laughs> Thank you. No. Okay. And here are George's comments.
And if you have not read these on the front end, it might make it a little more difficult to go through, but we'll try. Oh, I see. Have you got another copy there? Yes, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is for um, we can share it. Yeah, just a brief explanation. This is for the redevelopment of the Triton Stadium. Yeah, right. All right. Well, George, why don't you go through your comments and you can we'll just go to those sections that you're referencing. Well, Since what I would open up first is something that Martha and I have discussed this evening. And there are several references to what the decision is. Is it a decision of site plan review approval? Uh, approval of a site plan? Um, any number of things. And Martha, I think you come up with what to use consistently throughout the document. Well, um, my thinking, I, um, I told George, I went back and forth on this. As far as the heading is concerned, um, planning board decision of site plan review, um, calling it that as opposed to site plan review approval because it could be denial, it could be approval. So it was just the process of site plan review and the decision that the board reached. But for the rest of it, it seemed to me appropriate to call it um, <clears throat> uh, site plan approval because we're approving the site plan right. as opposed to site plan review approval because review is the process. But I don't know if everybody else agrees with that. That sounds sensible to me. Planning uh, board decision of site plan. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's the decision of the review the process. Review process. Yeah, that's fine. But the actual approval is approval <coughs> of the site plan. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And okay. we also have the site plan review application. So there's sort of three different <laughs> okay. terms floating around. Okay. Okay, George. Yeah, now on the second page, uh, fourth paragraph down, there is a reference to a 1513 person grandstand with handicapped accessible press box. Is the whole thing handicapped accessible? I would that was it. my question. I thought, well, how about the grandstand? Well, the grandstand, you could get an elevator, a, you know, a small residential type elevator up there. But boy, getting somebody to the third row up or the 14th row up, that gets harder. Yeah, I, I, think, am. I think it's only the press box. That's, that's what I understood. I, that's what I understood. Okay, just want to confirm that. And on the top of the what we get third page, there was reference in the documents that a portion, a small portion of the buffer zone will be built in or have work done in it, and also the ACEC, a uh, very small portion. Should we include the ACEC in that last sentence at the top of the page? Um, I'm sorry, which page were you on? Well, on top of page three, if not, above procedural the history at the top of the page. The applicant so, has submitted a notice of intent. Is that right? Yeah. The applicant has submitted a notice of intent to the Newbury Conservation Commission for work within the 100-foot buffer zone. Well, and did they include anything on that for the ACEC, too? Well, I think that's, um, John, correct me if I'm wrong, but the notice of intent really <clears> goes to work under the Wetlands Protection Act, right. which would be in the 100-foot buffer zone. Yeah, that's the, that's the salient thing. Okay. The, the fact that it's an ACEC is a matter of concern and should be looked at, but I don't think it necessarily that's, belongs here. That's, not, that's okay. not what triggers the notice of intent. Yeah, it's the fact that it's within the 100-foot buffer zone of any, any wetland, not just an ACEC. An ACEC, gentlemen, is in an area of critical environmental concern that has special sets of rules associated with it, mostly summed up by keep out. Right. That simple. Okay, in, okay. The, in the paragraph just above procedural history, uh, fourth line from the bottom there is reference to agricultural activity. Will there be any, Martha? There won't be. The reason that language is in there, that comes directly, that was a direct quote from our site plan review criteria. Okay. What I could do is, is just put dots to indicate deletion. Where's that? Oh, oh okay. 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 Just that'll be fine. Except for work. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would, okay. that's not necessary. Okay, so I'll just, I'll, I'll just put in some dots indicating yeah. that there's language left out. Okay. Okay. And it says on, uh, Findings of fact, A3, it 
it will not fill any wetlands or displace any wetland vegetation. Now that goes back to the Conservation Commission's approval of work with the mill. Where are you, George? I'm sorry. Oh, here. Let's go to different docs. Oh, findings of fact, page eight. Oh, yours print eight, eight? Six. Six. Yeah, okay. Page six at the top. Oh, eight, three. Right? Will not <laughs> fill any wetlands or displace. Yeah, that is, as I recall, a totally true statement. They yeah, wanted it in the buffer zone, but they are not filling wetlands. The only wetlands there is a salt marsh, which you fill it at your peril. Right. So, I, you know. Well, again, that's something I just wanted to confirm when looking at it. No, that's, that's, well, we also went through all these, and I don't remember anyone. Uh, yeah, okay. That that's good. That's good. Had that time. Good, okay. Uh, then under the decision, uh, A is something that Martha recommended being put in. Uh, site plan approval, site plan review approval by the planning board shall not be construed as approval from any other board, official right. or department. Uh, the applicant is responsible right. for obtaining that's so that ought right. to be that's, in there. That's, yeah. that's good. Yep. And then in C toward the bottom, uh, we discussed that at the meeting. It was I made the suggestion, the wording. I just want to make sure that we could change that a little bit. Uh, that would be the stadium use policy as approved by the Scott Triton School Committee shall be attached here to and incorporated by reference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just says about being incorporated and referred to. Uh, Paragraph F is, again, an issue that Martha raised. Does the board want to require construction phase inspections by our consulting engineer? If so, she would recommend the following language. Um, John, what are you looking thinking? for comments? Yes. yes. Well, they've got a very competent facilities manager out there. Chris is, is first class, and he will be watching this with both eyes. He and his staff, I, I would be very loath to stick somebody in there between him and the contractor, whoever that may be. I don't think that, I think this is not a normal job. This is a job with a, a government facility that has a competent staff to make sure things happen appropriately. My only question really was because the, the, the turf field is, is an unusual animal. Yeah. You know, there's going to be excavation and right. drainage and all of that right. kind of stuff. If you feel that Chris is... is yeah, yeah. I, I think if, if there's any doubt in Chris's mind, I look at this as, as yeah, we have to look at it because it's, it is under our jurisdiction. But I'm very reluctant to stick our nose in it any further than that. And Chris is no dummy. He's, no, he's know, really, he's a very I, sharp guy. I've known him for a long time. Yeah, if he, if he smells any lack of competence on his, his staff, I think he'd be the first one to go find somebody. Yeah, and we also don't know. They may be getting a clerk of the works. Or he may they be may his, very well, and so. it may be that the, that, mm -hmm. uh, the engineer is, has job site responsibilities. I, I just wouldn't go okay, there so personally. That's fine. I just wanted to put it yeah, on. Sure, that's yeah, a good yeah. question. All right, so, so I just want to make sure I understand the language that was being suggested. In paragraph F, what we're repairing. So the word right. in question is in compliance. Oh, okay. So okay. my only question on that, though, John, is that if there is an issue out there, does it help Chris if we have the authority to stop things in its tracks? I mean, could we be of assistance in that regard because... I think he has the authority and the engineer. The way public contracts are usually written, um, the engineer has all the authority in the world he needs. Okay. Generally, you don't stop things in its tracks because if somebody is wrong, you stop a job, they incur costs, they get to sue you if you're wrong. But you can at least make a note, advise them right off the bat that they are proceeding at their peril, and then figure out exactly who's on first okay. right off the bat. I don't, he will have all the authority he needs between him and the engineer. They have all the authority they need to make things okay. right and to keep things from going on any further than they have to. You know, stopping stopping a job right on the spot is not always a good, frequently not a good idea. Well, we we we, were, we have their ability to to do the inspections, and I think that's fine. Yeah, if it comes push comes to shove, I can't believe that we're going to be asked to help. Yeah. but we would certainly be willing to if 
Yeah. If he I, if he looked for help. Yeah. I th I think it's fine. But but the recommendation is to take that paragraph out. I would oh, the whole paragraph. That would be yeah, my my thing. Oh, no, no, I I don't I don't <laughs> know if I agree with it. No. Pardon? I I don't know that I agree with it. I I thought it was just changing the word. Now John John's and I I having worked on public me. projects, I know they may well have their own. Staff, the only I, thing, I would be amazed if they don't. Right. The only other thing I could do, if, if the board would like, is call Brian and find out what provisions they sure. may have for yeah. construction. And, and why don't you tell him what language we'd like to have in there and see if he has a problem with it? Okay. I mean, I, I'm perfectly happy with that. To John's point, though, is there a problem? Are we better off including this and then just not exercising it? But at least that gives <clears> us the ability. Um, in that case, perhaps we could change in the first sentence. Change shall be may. 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 may 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 at the request may. of Triton Regional School District. No, Remember, we're may. talking. We're dealing with another public entity here. We're not dealing with Joe Blow, the uh, the garage builder. You know, we're talking. We're talking about people that have a staff and have a certain autonomy. Um, and they're going to be going through filed subbids, which is. I mean, they're going to be going through. Yeah. The yeah. This is going to be a standard state contract, as you yeah. say, with filed subbids. I mean, they may very well have a clerk of the work. They may. They yeah. May, they may very well have a clerk, and he may work so, for the school district. I, I'm happy with Brian. Okay. Talk to Brian. Talk yeah. To call Brian and see what. And I'll see what he wants. Brian is the assistant superintendent. <clears throat> I read a little bit about this project. Uh, I can't recall what, what's the magnitude of the, the dollar. Four million appropriated. Yeah, it's, four, it's, four it's four bigger million. than a bread box. Double million. Four yeah. million. Yeah, it's a lot of it. Some of it, no, some of it raised privately, but most of it coming from each town. Yeah, they got a large donation. I think one hundred and sixty thousand yeah. from Institution for Savings. Yeah. yeah. And they had been hoping to do major fundraising, and they just didn't get to where they needed to be. Yeah. And I think because of code compliance issues and other things, it, the I scope of it grew. If we, if we maintain the authority, we get then we get confusion as to whose job this yeah, is. No, I agree. And I yeah, really, absolutely. really, really don't want us to be butting heads with the school district. Paragraph J. Um, before we get to J, then that may that may actually go to H as well. It could be that the school, you know, the school district will be organizing a pre-construction meeting, I and mean, typically, yeah, that's the way yeah. it was done on. on I, I think it it may be worthwhile a letter of agreement between <coughs> us and the school district, between us and say Brian or Chris or both, that says, okay, this is our responsibility. If we want help from the town, we'll ask for it, but make it clear whose responsibility this is. But if he wants backup from us, then... If he wants whatever backup we could provide, we'd be happy to. I'd be real surprised. I mean, Gail, Gail is a, you know, a quite a competent company. Uh, okay, well, I'll ask Brian on that one as well. Yeah, yeah on, both, on both of them. I mean, if he... Maybe says, well, your guys should be at the meeting. Mm -hmm. Which I think they should be. If, if he wants us there, I then think we'd be happy but, to help But we don't any, run the show. Anyway. But we're not running the show. It's we're, their we're meeting. What? It's their meeting. It's their meeting, yeah. And I, I really think this is a case of it's the other guy's football, not ours. Okay. Okay. I think it was supposed to be within. In, par in paragraph J, yeah. I think it's supposed to be within, not without. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I said the wording was a little confusing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. In paragraph K, Martha has made a suggestion that at the discretion of the building commissioner, with the concurrence of the planning board, recording by the applicant of a certification, it says, of the town clerk, I would think by the town clerk? Um... Perhaps. Oh, perhaps. You can work it out. And the decision of the site plan review, however we're going to word that, of the Southern Essex Registry of Deeds may be included as an additional condition precedent for the issuance of any building permit. 
And that's kind of standard language that we've okay. had. Yeah, and the all follows with performance guarantee that no performance guarantee would be required for this project. Right. Um, would we want to ask that they include any provisions we have in the construction contract? Because throwing, throwing a condition to a, a, a contractor who has been awarded the job and is pulling a permit, it's a little late. Uh, maybe we want to include our conditions, ask them to include our conditions in the construction contract, your, which or, will be your, 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 a your, your, document. You mean your, your, the CONCOM's order of conditions? No, 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 this our, one. Our, our, conditions. Right. our, our mm -hmm. conditions. It's, the CONCOM's order of conditions, I would hope, would be included. Right. It should be. And this document ought to be included. I'm saying throw well. this in as sure. well. Right. That and they're now, aware of now it. nobody can say, oh, nobody told us. This is an extra. Your point. check by return mail will be appreciated. No, that's excellent. You know? Should be. That, that's normal practice, normal contract. Whatever practice. this decision is. And, and do, they get in, do they get any other uh, approvals from us, CONCOM and us? Is that it? I believe that's it. They get a building permit. They get a building they permit. They get the building permit. Building permit, permit sure. Which can't be issued until these. No, are done. they got to have a contractor first. Um, they're tying into the wastewater treatment plant, so I don't think they need anything from Board of Health. I wouldn't think so. Um, by field water. And by field water. Yeah, but yeah. those. That really makes it nice and neat when you do that. Put yeah. them, uh, include them by reference. Okay. Good. That's all I had. Thanks, well, George. Good points. So if, any, all right if anybody has anything else before Tuesday morning, let me know and I'll, yeah. I'll have a revised draft I'll, ready for everybody. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll give you my original to work from because you might not have picked up all of the references to site plan review. Okay. That would be good. Thank you. I think I got that. Okay. So we will then Take this up again on Tuesday morning. All right, master plan, master plan committee membership for the cons and the consultant proposal. Let's take the <coughs> consultant proposals first. Um, so let's just carry. We just met with the uh, consultant who has responded to our RFP uh, to do an update of the master plan. And we just want, I just want to open it up for comment from everybody who is here and see what you all think. Oh. <laughs> Somebody had said, I got Ron Barrett written down here at the bottom of all of them. I was going to do the consultants oh. first. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do okay. the consultants first. Uh, I, I, missed a, I missed a chapter there. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. uh, do you, do you, do you were kind of quiet during that. I don't have as much experience in evaluating them. I haven't been. Through. Well, yeah, but you have a fresh, um, fresh look at it all. You know. It was hard for me to tell. I think that they clearly had an idea of how the process should work, and that while I, my take was they were willing to work with us, they liked their, the way they approached it, and maybe they would humor us. Um, If they didn't, if they didn't think we were doing it, approaching it properly, in their view. Well, I think the but biggest change they presented, to my way, everything else was, I think, consistent with what they said in their RFP, except the idea of preparing this executive summary with everything else as an appendix. That, and that may well work. Yeah. That that might be a, a good way to do it. It's just that it was different. Right. I'd like to look at the example. Yeah. Yeah. That they, yeah. I would think that would not be an, an immediate decision. There's a lot of work yeah. that needs to be done before yeah. that has to be decided. Because that's we don't know the best way to present. Yeah. The yeah. I wouldn't say one way or the other at this point. Right. But that's the only thing that to me was it's because, different because that's why they kept saying, "Well, we can do it this way, or we can do it that way." Yeah. And so we didn't come to closure on no. it. But I don't think we need to do it. I don't today. think no, we need to do that. The right. the only thing that they said that caused me concern there was it's fine to have an executive summary but it should accurately reflect what's in the underlying documents so I didn't I didn't like 
per se, the concept of, well, you could have objectives that just aren't captured in the executive summary. I think if you have an objective, something that you is on the checklist to be achieved, there should be, uh, there should be a, a, a direct correlation for I agree, some totally information. Agree with that. So, Were they saying there wouldn't be? I didn't uh, get that. Well, she suggested it at Roberta one point. Roberta suggested that at one point that... It could be sort of a secondary list, which would be in the technical reports. I'm not sure if she just got caught in her own... Yeah, that, you, that you know, was the that's what I thought that happened. Yeah, but I would be about. against that. Oh, yeah. I, I totally agree with yeah. you. One document has to accurately reflect yeah, I mean, the other. One implementation plan. And, and that's, can go I mean, I can see us having an executive summary and an implementation plan that could be 35 to 40 pages. And oh, that's yeah. what right. the people see. Yeah. Right. And then everything else yeah, is yeah, appendices. Yeah, reports or appendices. Yes, yeah. so I could see doing yeah. that. Yeah. But I think that for tracking purposes, one implementation plan, it's, it would become unmanageable for us no. to know right. where right. the different pieces are that we need to implement. Right. So, George, you weren't able to be there, but you have any other? Well, I read the documents, but really, no, I have no thought. Without having heard her, I really can't say very much. Well, Roberta, the woman who came up yeah. to the interview, <clears throat> uh, to our discussion, rather, was here for the interview, and she's going to be the project manager. The president of the company was here, uh, Peter Sanborn, and a Patricia Keller. 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 Patty Keller. Yeah, Patty. Patricia. Patty. Yeah, Patty. Yeah, Patty Keller. Yeah. Patty didn't say much. No, because she's a, she really is a historic preservation person yeah, as she's, opposed she's to a specialist. I think the other person who wasn't able to make it um, probably has more. Strong. She's a land use lady. Yeah, Courtney yeah. is a uh, land use and zoning. Yeah. They call her the expert. Roberta seemed to make sense to me. I, I didn't hear her oh, say anything. I, about I think it. the biggest question with anybody in that group is that I think that she was the potentially the most adept at dealing with people in a facilitator yeah. function. Mm -hmm. Whereas I didn't think Peter was that good. I, I, I don't think we'll, first of all, I don't think we'll see much of him anyway. Right. That's not his role. That's not his role. He's, she's the lead. And she's she asked, the lead. She asked very good questions she asked, at, the, um, at our pre proposal conference. And, and her presentation now was cogent and to the point, and yeah. I thought that. So I, I was pretty satisfied yeah. with her. And, yeah. and I do get the sense that they will be you know, flexible in terms <clears throat> of sort of determining the best outreach methods. Yeah. Um, and I think that, um, you know, a couple things I think are strong points is they have had experience structuring a master plan the way we're proposing to yeah. do it. I think yeah. that's and important. I think that's important because there are others who indicated that that would be an issue. When I was so th th this document is a bit uh, traditional. The it's one very, our, very exist traditional. our existing yeah, master I, I plan. Say it's quite Pretty traditional. Pretty traditional. Just, just so you, you know what, we're, we're updating the master plan. Uh, we're going to be creating that one of our next, our first, first responsibility was to uh, get a consultant to assist us in doing this. And then a second is to create a committee, a master plan committee, which will be composed of, right now, it's whoever the planning board members <coughs> are, the town planner, a member of the board of selectmen, capital planning committee, finance, finance committee. And it looks like now anywhere between eight or nine neighborhood residents, just people, including a student from Triton. And that would be the group that would basically be the steering committee for the creation of the update, which we think should take about a month, uh, a year, maybe a little bit longer. And so we're right at the point of making that decision to bring who on board to help us along and then to make recommendation to the selectmen about what the committee members would do. So are we okay to, do we, I think we need to vote on this. Well, I think that, I think we may not be able to yet. Um, a couple things, um, I think there are a couple of us who would like to look at the documents that they referenced and, and probably talk to some people that they've worked with. Um, and we still need to open the price proposal, which we can't do until, and we could say that our evaluation is done if you feel comfortable with that, or you could wait until Tuesday and do a little homework. I would like to do the homework. I'd like to get your thoughts on <coughs> what those Documents. proposals look like that they've prepared in the past. Fine. Just, yeah. And especially now that we've got Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad we're only meeting once in July. I know, this is I know. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that's a good idea. We'll, we'll defer that and call them and tell them we've, we're 98% close to the decision, but we have a couple of things we need to do. Okay. okay.
just oh, call reverted. call reverted. Okay. And Ellen did send an email to Tracy about the price proposal. What, what we just do? assume yeah, it's, it's there, of course they would have said something, right? Right? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so, okay. So, if that's it for that discussion, then you want to talk about the committee members? And my first thing is, do we need, what do we need to do in order to get a note to Jeff that they need to assign someone? Um, Jeff is Jeff Walker, the uh, select uh, chairman of the board of select. Um, well, I think we can probably. I think what we should do is is make a recommendation to the selectmen for the resident members. Okay. In any case, and when that goes to them, I can also contact Jeff or ask Alan to contact Jeff, and I've already mentioned it to her that they need to appoint somebody. So. So when we make the recommendation of these members, who makes the appointment? The board of selectmen. Typically, yeah. Typically, yeah. yeah. I mean, I honestly. And they would also appoint the town employee or town uh, the, uh, board members. They would appoint Marshall and, yeah. and whoever else comes from. I haven't gotten anything back from Larry Gay yet. So Marshall has been appointed. Well, by, his, by the finance committee. By the finance Good. committee. Okay, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, but we haven't gotten anybody from capital planning. Okay. So, so, what exactly are we asking them to do then? To appoint, appoint a selectman. One of us. Well, we're asking them yeah, to do no, two no. things: one to appoint a selectman, and then one to appoint the master plan committee. The committee, members. yeah. And are we going to give them give them the list of this? Like, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Now, do we want to take a look at the list of it. We do want to know where this last two weeks ago. Are there any objections to any of those names? Did you contact Carla? She deselected. So we're we'll looking at yeah, look over your shoulders. Yeah, so, sure. so the ones that we have um, are Marlene Schrader, Fred Thurlow, Charles Stefanik, <laughs> yeah. um, Robin Lawson, Paige Sullivan, Steve Mangin from Plum Island, Dan Streeter. Ron had said he would sit in but didn't want to make a commitment. Have him appointed though. What, what, do you have any, uh, I mean, do you have any concern, concerns about Ron Barrett? Oh, no, no. I don't either. No. All right? No. Put his name on. Okay. And I did, I've had um, several expressions of interest from Ron Hockmeister is on the Historical Commission. I asked him to send me an email. He hasn't, so. Well, I don't know how to. Well, especially with Ron, especially since we need more than one person from Plum from Island. Island. Now we have two with one. If he's willing to sit, get appointed and sit in. Right. Ron does have a lot going, he's quite active. Yeah, but he also knows a lot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, I. So you don't have any concerns about the names? No, not at all. Have we got anything from Triton? Yes. Yes, yes but I don't have the, did you, did they back, get back in touch with you? The, the school principal contacted me and said they had a person. Yeah, and I thought I had a name, I thought I got a name. I wonder if they're off now for a while. They might be. Catherine Daw, let me right. send her a note in the morning and see if I can get the name. Uh, but I thought that they, you had said that someone had called you, right? Somebody called me, I called him back. He never called me back. Um, but I, there was an email <clears throat> that I thought had a name on it. And that it's our responsibility to contact the, the student? Well, anyway, well, let, let, me, let me see if I can okay. talk to it. And if not, maybe... Um, well, we could do that on Tuesday. I mean, add that person to the yes. list on Tuesday. But let me see if I can find her. She's probably, I mean, they're, they're gone. Aren't they? I'm sure they must be responding. I don't think they ever really take. They, they they don't? Right. I should imagine. They're still okay, well, let's see. I'm insisting it about this weekend, that's all, as opposed to just... Um. Doing it. So, okay. So do we need to vote on that? Yes, we need to vote on a recommendation to the selectmen. Okay. Uh, I, do you want everybody listed out? No, the list that, why don't you just reference the list to hand it out, and then she doesn't, he doesn't have to make yeah, the motion yeah, in that. Yeah. Okay. With respect to the master plan committee, I move that the members uh, of the mass, proposed master plan committee 
be forwarded to the Board of Selectmen for appointment. And can I just add on to sure. that? Yeah. And that the Board of Selectmen designate one of their members to be on the case. Yes. Okay. Second. Now, we have everyone but capital planning. Do we want to somehow ask Tracy to do that? that but that's, the selectmen don't have to do that. I'll just ask her when she comes back. I'll see. Selectmen normally appoint everybody on this everybody kind of committee. This, well, well, we typically. could just say one, one member of the capital planning committee to determine. Um, if that, yeah. That, Who's the chair of capital oh, planning? Oh, well, wait, then we can also, in this motion, then say, designate also Marshall Jesperson from, because they, from the they have finance, finance committee, yeah. and that designate someone from the capital planning committee and let yeah. them figure out who it is. Well, I think that was part of the designation, the motion. Uh, that's fine. Okay. As think? far as, yeah, the other thing, though, I don't think we ought to put Tracy in. No, you're right. No, no, no. I, I, I was saying <coughs> something else in terms of letting her run the name down. Right. Is that okay? Got it. Yeah. And for the planning board, would that be all planning board members and the associate? Yes. Yes. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Who did you second? second Any comment on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. So that's good. So we will meet on Tuesday at 8.15 and resolve um, the consultant and Frighten. Right. Anything else? And the... Oh! Members. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what started it. That's what started it. <laughs> Are you coming next Tuesday morning? Good. Good. Yeah. 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 Bring well, donuts. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Don't. 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 Okay. Can I? Thank you. Any Any other issues that people want to bring forward? I I I see that you've got MVPC still has not met. Um, Board of Selectmen. I don't think there's anything since last time. No, I don't think so. Con, con? No activity. Met. No, we haven't had no activity since we met. I have one question, mm -hmm. and just in case I missed it, for Beverly, did we do we have a date or we're waiting for a date? We don't have a date. Oh, okay. for Rego, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't okay. heard yet. Yeah, he had asked for That one. looks very interesting. We want to have it before the 21st when we meet, certainly. Um, I thought we were meeting on the 14th. No, no, Hong Kong meets on the 21st. Yeah, I'd like to. Well, we could all do, you could all go down individually if, if, before the. I wouldn't count on no. being able to get in. You, don't, you, you think that's closed? Pardon me? You think that's closed? Think Typically they are. They don't want people electrocuting themselves. That's well, I'm not to say I want to walk through. I just want to see the proximity of the houses to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, oh, okay. You, you can, can go that. and look what because you it's can a look big the outside, recreational sure. field. Yeah, so you, you I, know I where it is, right? When I, when, yeah, I drive by it daily. You do. Um, and so there's a big recreational field. You could pull in and just... You, you could see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you our, diff, our interest is quite different. I want to look immediately under the array for signs of erosion. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a biggie with us. It's a pretty flat so, area, isn't it? It looks pretty flat. It is. Right. I still have a big question as to why you would put a solar array that's very reflective next to a runway. But it's very reflective. Next, next to a runway. That's what that's what the comment was. Next to the runway. Oh, yeah. it's, right it's right by, by the, the airport. airport. But I. But it, the houses. You really, from where I drive, you don't see the houses. So it would, and I haven't taken the time yet to drive down the street that would go in behind the houses. But I, you, it's not a far drive. And they they did um, take down a substantial number of trees. I, I thought that was very interesting. I thought to that was see. very interesting. Do, yeah. where, how, how did you find those old photos? Google Earth. Just you just how did you get the old ones? Um, they they're archived. So you. No kidding. So you. 
You March just, you just you just Google aerial Google shots that? at different points in time, so you could see what it looked like for with the trees there, and then you could see it cleared, and now you can see it with the solar array on. I didn't know it was that kind of thing. Because it's one of the, one of the interesting issues that we have and others have <clears> with <throat> Borrego's uh, proposal for Main Street is that they're planning to take down forty three hundred trees. Eleven acres of trees. Forty three hundred trees, and so that's not what the Commonwealth's Guidelines. Well, the Commonwealth the discourages it. Dis yeah. Yeah, they, it's discouraged, but I think they say at the same time, if you're going to have a solar array development, they have to be allowed to take down what they need to take down. But the problem the town has to take care of is to minimize so they don't go beyond what they need. So, interesting issue. So, this Beverly project apparently took down a number of trees. We don't know how many, but it did, and it's about the same distance to the nearest home as the project proposed in Byfield. So this is the one that's already built. Yeah. It's already built. On the, on the hmm? It's already built. built. Yeah. It's already built. Yeah. Yeah. Usually yeah. they have a right good clear area right. around a runway. By parade. Um, By parade. Just because airplanes do wander off the case. Yeah, I, don't, I would doubt it's on the grounds. You don't think um, it is? Okay. It must be a different offering. It could have been, I don't know if it's municipal grounds. Yeah, they're yeah. not the owner of it. Yeah. But, um, but I, I thought what was interesting too, and it was really good for me to see visually, is, and for you for measuring, is that to me, when you look at the aerial shot, there's still a pretty big buffer of trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to have that be that same distance, based on what the testimony we've heard, I had a totally different vision of how close it was going to be. Yeah, that was so nice. So um, I thought that was helpful. Well, I was, uh, are we talking about my field? Yeah. yeah. Well, by field versus. Yeah. versus, versus, versus I was uh, yeah. where where Steve said this is this is the edge of the arrays, and I'm looking right over there at some back of somebody's house, and I can see it quite clearly. And it was May. It was May. You know, yeah, or, or early June, and the, everything was in full leaf. So yeah. I mean, if I can see them, they can sure see the array. Yeah, because I'm only Burnham, six feet tall, and the arrays are ten. That's Burnham Road and Wenham. It might be worth taking a look at the assessor's records to see if there's been any sales activity, and if there's anything for sale to talk with brokers to see if there's been any diminishing in value because of the array. And also just to look at the assessment history and see right. if there's been any change in right. assessments for that. Yeah. Do you know when that was put in? Looked like it was around, um, judging from the Google Earth. I think it was, I can't remember now, 2010, 2010 so, 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 so there should be history, and it's, and it's after the recession. Yes. So, could be interesting. Extra quiet neighborhood. You drive by there every day? Mm -hmm. It's actually, how I'm going to work. Sorry. My industrial park is right there. You there you go, your industrial park. Oh, is that what you work on? Well, I'll, talk, I'll talk to Doug also and see if, if they've had any thoughts about timing for the site visit. Yeah, here. that'd be helpful. Anything else for the good of the order or anything else that we want to chat about? I have a motion to we'll do adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Aye.